Harmful algal blooms, or HABs, are episodic events that occur when phytoplankton grow out of control and sometimes release toxins into the environment. HABs are an increasingly prevalent problem throughout the world, including in Florida's Indian River Lagoon, where HAB events have occurred almost yearly over the past decade. Despite their prevalence in this region, information on the presence of HAB toxins is limited and ecosystem-wide impacts have not been thoroughly investigated. I want to stress that HABs occur as irregular, somewhat patchy events. This presents a challenge for studying their associated toxins that may persist long after the termination of the bloom. Fish, however, are known vectors of many HAB toxins and the Indian River Lagoon is home to 700 species. How can we understand toxins present in many species of fish at once and the ecosystem as a whole? By looking at the top of the food web at their predators. Past research suggests that sharks may be useful bioindicators for environmental contamination due to their slow life history characteristics and trophic position as apex predators. The Indian River Lagoon serves as nursery habitat for bull sharks, which are the most common shark found in the lagoon. Their role as top predators and presence during early life stages may allow us to understand what HAB toxins are present in the lagoon and if these toxins are moving up the food web. The main objective of my thesis project is to quantify baseline concentrations of HAB toxins in the tissues of juvenile bull sharks during non-bloom periods. To do this, we sampled three regions across the lagoon between 2018 and 2020. Three different tissue types were collected from 50 juvenile bull sharks for a total of 136 samples and screened for 14 toxins using LCMS. At the bottom of your screen, you will see some preliminary analysis of the first 50 samples. We can see in the map to the left that individuals that tested positive for one HAB toxin often tested positive for multiple toxins and that multiple toxins were detected across the lagoon. Early analysis also shows that higher concentrations were found in the stomach content samples compared to the other tissue types. This can be seen in the graph to the right, and what it suggests is that bull sharks are ingesting have toxins from their prey items. These results are preliminary, but also encouraging, as they suggest this method may yield a multitude of information on the presence of multiple have toxins in this iconic estuary. Thank you.